In this presentation, I wanted to describe the geography of Vietnam. Vietnam is located here on the map. It has a kind of S shape, which I'm just going to follow with this pointer. That's the bottom of the S, and we're going back up to the top of the S there. First thing to say about Vietnam is it's part of Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia is this area that I'm going to make a circle of with the mouse right now. This is Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia is between Australia to the south and East Asia to the north. East Asia includes China, Korea and Japan. So this is Southeast Asia and part of Southeast Asia is Vietnam. Vietnam borders three countries. It's bordered by China to the north, Laos to the left or to the west, and Cambodia to the left or to the west. It also has a lot of a large coastline that is it is on the ocean. This part of the coastline is called the Gulf of Tonkin or the Tonkin Gulf and the other part of the coastline down here is called the South China Sea. So try to remember that Vietnam is part of Southeast Asia. It's bordered by China, Laos and Vietnam and also it has coast in the Gulf of Tonkin and in the South China Sea. The first part of South, the uh, first part of Vietnam I'm going to look at now is the Central Highlands area, which is indicated as purple in this map. Sorry, more like a dark blue. In fact, this map shows you the S shape I was talking about quite well. First thing to talk about there is this is a mountainous area, so it's kind of like orange and white on this map. There's coolish jungle, it would be up here and the, up here on this photo. And it's populated by, used to be populated by what we call the hill tribes of Vietnam. These are people who live not so much by farming, but by gathering from the forest, or maybe doing a little bit of farming and moving around, They're moving their farms all the time. So three things to remember is that it's a mountainous area, the jungle is cooler up there, and hill tribes used to live up there and still do to a certain extent. One of the most important features of the geography of Vietnam are the river deltas. Now a delta is when a big river branches out towards the ocean and turns into a lot of small rivers. For example, we can see the Red River Delta up here. The Red River runs down like this and then it breaks into all these little rivers. That's called a delta. Same thing with the Mekong River, which we're going to talk about in a second. The Mekong River runs all the way down here, then breaks into small little rivers. That's what a delta is. These rivers run all the way through the year. Sometimes they flood. And the reason why they flood is that snow is melting way up here in the Tibet mountains. And it flows a long, long way, all the way down to the ocean, through south of China, or if it's the Red River or the Mekong River, through Laos and Thailand. Once again, you can see the S shape of Vietnam here. I think the thing to remember here is that Red River is at the top of Vietnam and the Mekong River is at the bottom. So remember also that these rivers run all the way from Central Asia or from the Tibet Mountains and they break into little rivers which are called the deltas. So let's look at these deltas in a bit more detail now. First we'll look at the Red River Delta which you'll remember is at the top of Vietnam or at the top of the S. It's famous for Ha Long Bay, which is very popular with tourists, and it's in this picture here. The capital of Vietnam, Hanoi, is on the Red River Delta. And also one thing to remember about it is that it runs into the, to the Tonkin Gulf, this area here, the Gulf of Tonkin. So if you think of the Red River, think of Ha Long Bay and the Tonkin Gulf. You can probably see from this photo why they call it the Red River. All the dirt in the river, which we call silt, or the silt in the river gives it that kind of reddish tinge. Maybe people are just imagining that, maybe all rivers look like that, but we call it the Red River. The other delta you remember is the Mekong Delta. I mentioned before that the Red River and the Mekong River run from the Tibet Mountains, so these are the Tibet Mountains around here. It runs all the way down through China, touches Burma, touches Thailand and Laos and Cambodia and eventually gets down to the ocean. And this is where it meets the ocean. And you can see it breaking into thousands, or well not thousands, tons of little rivers. 
and creating a lot of little islands, and that's a typical delta. Um, so one thing to think about the Mekong River Delta is it's got a large population. In fact, most of Viet the biggest concentration or the biggest amount of people in one place in Vietnam are on the Mekong River Delta. And as you can see, there are many islands formed by the Mekong Delta. So now let's talk about the cities that are on these deltas. The two cities of Vietnam are on the deltas. One is Ho Chi Minh City, which is on the Mekong River in the south or at the bottom of the S. And the other is Hanoi, which is on the Red River Delta, which is at the top of the S. So one thing to remember about Ho Chi Minh City is it used to be called Saigon, but then it was renamed after a leader called Ho Chi Minh, which we'll talk about some other time. The other thing to remember about Ho Chi Minh City is that it's on the Mekong River where it starts to form into a delta. You can see it's already breaking up here. The other important thing is it's the most populous. It has the highest population in Vietnam. It's the pop city with the biggest population or the biggest number of people, but it's not the capital. It's got the biggest number of people, but it's not the capital. A bit like in America, New York City has got the biggest number of people, but the capital is actually a place called Washington, D.C. In Vietnam, the capital is somewhere else, and we'll get to that now. The capital of Vietnam is called Hanoi. Sometimes you'll see that spelled as two words, Ha and then Noi. Now there's a few things to remember about it. As I mentioned, it's the capital of Vietnam. It's on the Red River, and it's the second largest city. You can see here, actually, it's quite near the border of China. You don't need to remember that though. Just remember it's the capital, it's on the Red River, and it's the second largest city in Vietnam. And that's it for the geography of Vietnam.